Tonoche, senior special assistant on social media to President Muhammad Buhari, has said they will never be the Republic of Biafra again. Who you be where they talk? This woman, she know they even they mind herself. Hmm. She stated this on Monday following the reported attack on the Imo State Police Command headquarters and the Oweri Correctional Prison, which led to the release of over 1,800 inmates and the destruction of scores of vehicles and state assets. <laughs> so that means uh, if uh, she's judging because of this, that means there shouldn't even be existence of the North in the first place because or any North even going to that as rock. You can imagine. You can imagine what happened in a boy say this woman did not come home. She didn't say anything. You know. The Gumi Gumi crusade that is been going from one pillar to post to preach that crusade or to go on that crusade. This woman never she never saw anything wrong in that. She doesn't see anything wrong in that. You <clears throat> this woman well the former inspector general of police okay that one is now a former somebody that was a blowing hot yesterday now is now a former yes muhammad adamu had accused operators of the eastern security network esn of being the masterminds behind the attacks after the incident onoche tweeted a video showing the then head of state yakubu gowan receiving the then biafran vice president major general philip f young who facilitated the surrender of the Biafran state to Nigeria in 1970. Young had assumed leadership of the secessionist state after the Biafran leader, Colonel Chukwemeka Ujuku, fled to Côte d'Ivoire in the heat of the civil war. She captioned the video, Relief on the Faces of Philip Young, second in command of Ojuku, to Ojuku and his men, as the surrender says, hashtag never again Biafra. The joy on the face of the then head of state, Yakubu Gowan, says, won Nigeria. The very day nails were put in the coffin of Biafra, they will never be Biafra again, never. In May 1967, dissatisfaction over the Nigerian state and quest for sovereignty led Ojuku to declare the exit of the Republic of Biafra from Nigeria. The Biafran territory essentially comprised the southeast region of nigeria the declaration led to a civil war that lasted two and a half years as the nigerian state under Gowan battled to unify the soul of the country using state powers and military might the war ended in january 1970 with the southeast region back in nigeria but the civil war left many soldiers and civilians dead however Decades later, secessionist agitation resurfaced in the southeast. The agitation this time is being championed by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namde Kano. The Buhari regime had in September 2017 at Lord IPOB and declared the activities of the group constituted an act of terrorism and illegality. Before then, Kano was arrested and jailed but was later released from the Kuje prison in Abuja after meeting bail conditions. The IPOB leader later fled the country and has been operating from overseas. Recently, IPOB formed the Eastern Security Network, but its security outfit has no backing of the governors of the Southeast. It has therefore been at loggerheads with state authorized security agencies like the police and the army. <clears throat> the problem with all these politicians is eh? <laughs> let them continue, and this woman too again, let them continue in their deceits. The problem we have in this country is that these people are not even ready to solve the problem. They don't want to know the root cause of this whole thing. If really what is she's trying to say that uh, then uh, Gowan and uh, F. Young, they agree on one Nigeria, this and this and that. That's it to tell you that uh, the problem was not solved. They just did a window dressing, uh, I don't know how to put it, arrangements. And because if really something was really settled, was well settled, and everybody's happy, believe you me, nothing will happen. And at this point in time, Buari even ginger the whole thing, come out. Biafra has been, you know, just in and out, just like that. But until when Buari again came on board, was talking about 97% and 5%. And how do you expect me? And all this uh, cock and boot story and window dressing, whatever they say they are doing in the South they are just deceiving themselves. Because that is not it. You cannot be killing a child and be telling him, giving him sweets. The child will not take it. That is exactly what is happening. Buari that is going to 
London now for treatment at this age and time. The, or, of course, I shouldn't even be talking about this woman. She just she just wasting her time. She just wasting her time and being hypocritical. What is her God? The God of this woman is the money she's receiving and nothing more. Is this how to get popularity? Is this how to, to, to be popular? No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's unfortunate. Biara, Piafra will never come. So because based on that, so that is what is giving you confidence for you to be posting what you are not supposed to. I trust unknown government and the meaningful Biafrans who really love to see their people in good conditions, not like this kind of woman brainwashed by a cow. All must hail Biafra, the land of the rising sun. Hmm. Onoche said Biafra died in the Philip F. Young, the day Philip F. Young surrendered to General Guan in 1970. But she forgot that the same Philip F. Young also said if you fail to, re to treat the surrendered Biafra well, their children will rise to fight as the puppets, all the puppets you see today surely will grow to be Lion King. Hmm. This woman have nothing to say. What concern him with Biafra agitation? If Wari appoints you to defend him, do it with common sense. Ataya, oh. Ataya. Is this what she was employed to do? She cannot tell us meaningful things that Wari has done. She can't. She can't. Everybody is talking now. She cannot even come and attack the people that why are you uh, attacking the president for going to abroad? She cannot come out. That those are the things they are supposed to be defending Buhari. Oh, he has done this in the area of uh, etc. Oh, he went to the this thing to the UK for treatment. That that is the right thing to do. No, those are the things you need to be telling us. Not a, this is none of your business. Biafra is none of your business. You can imagine. Which of the old did she crawl out from? It seems that she's not in touch with a reality. Whether we declare Biafra or not, Biafra has been in existence. Philip F. Young said this, If you fail to take care of the Biafrans that surrendered, their children will raise again and agitate for Biafra. She did not, she did not understand that. And like I said, why is all these things, Biafra, this Biafra, that's coming up again? Something led to that. And they don't want to know that because they know that they have done wrong. And they are just trying to like, you must not say anything about Biafra. You must not say anything about it. Just forget it. Just continue. Just behave as if nothing uh, is happening or nothing, uh, something has happened. That is just what they want people to do. No, 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 no. Everybody know be cow. People know be cow. There are some people you can tell all those cack and boo stories or you want them to behave in that manner. But not everybody. Not everybody at all. Why not say over your dead body, Biafra will be uh, will be or come and see whether you will spend three months, three more days, uh, three more months like others. Hmm. This Buhari's regime that has made all of you senseless will come to an end very soon. You all shall keep displaying your idiocy just because of the crumbs they are feeding you with time shall tell. Hmm. So guys, let's hear your opinion on this.